Well, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Blair Lamb and my family and I just arrived here in sunny California and we just got checked into the Disneyland Hotel. We traveled here from Texas and we left around 12.45 in the afternoon. We got here because of the time difference around two o'clock and we had a wonderful driver from Anaheim Town Car Services pick us up at the airport. It was all so smooth. He texted me. He had been tracking our flight. He texted me and said, hey, I'm outside. Let me know where you're stationed and there are numbers. And I said, we're by the one that says number 11 and he was there lickety split the reason why we went ahead and booked with anaheim town car services is because they provide car seats and the car seats were installed beautifully they were in good condition and the kids had a really comfortable ride it's not very long i actually timed on my phone from the second that my foot walked off of the airplane to the second that we walked into the hotel here at the disneyland hotel and it was exactly 56 minutes well it wasn't exactly it was 56 minutes and like 43 seconds or something but it was around there so just a little under an hour which I thought was pretty speedy to get from walking off of the airplane to walking into the hotel and getting checked into our beautiful room here I'm so excited to show you around it is so cute and magical and we just paid for a standard view but we have a great view of the pool so my kids have been standing here at the ledge just looking out and watching all of the goings-on of the pool and my husband just took my two kids down to pick up some quick service food from um, the, the little restaurant here. I can actually see it. Something terrace, tropical terrace, maybe something like that. Um, and so I will, oh, I can see them. Oh, I can see them walking across the bridge. How cute. So we will go and um, I will go and meet up with them, but I wanted to do a quick room tour without lots of little voices and they were itching to get outside and see the pool anyway. So we have had a very smooth morning. Just to introduce myself a little bit, if you are new around here, like I said, my name is Blair. I am a 30 something mom of two. I have a four year old daughter named Nora and a two year old son named Colin. We are Disney World people through and through. We have been to Disney World so many times together as a family and we always just have amazing trips, but we've never been to Disneyland. I've always wanted to go and I just decided that this was the year and this was the time and we are just so happy to be here. It has this feeling that is so special here. I just am already completely in love. Just the lobby and walking in immediately, I was like, I'm already in. I'm fully in, I'm fully on board, love it. So let me show you around our room. I did just call Bell Services because I placed a small Amazon fresh grocery delivery order with like water bottles and a few snacks for the kids and that is being sent up. So that might be here any minute and um, so if I'm interrupted in the middle of my little tour, that will be why, but I'm so happy that you're here and I'm so happy that I'm here. <laughs> okay, let me show you around this really, really cool room. All right, so I'm standing against the door to walk into this room, and so I have my back against the wall. And let me show you, so first here on the left-hand side is the bathroom, and there are a lot of really cool Disney-themed touches like Mickey's hands holding the lamps. There are little Mickeys on the lampshade, which is really neat. On the sink, there are little Mickey heads. We have already used the restroom after our travel day, so the sink is already a little scuffed up, but you know, that's how it goes. This room has the little toilet in it and um, a painting or a reproduction of a painting of Dumbo, which is neat. And here's what this whole kind of vanity situation looks like. Obviously, because we've been to Disney World so many times, I'm I'm like, is this more like a moderate hotel? Is this more like a deluxe? It's kind of somewhere in between. So there's only one sink, whereas most deluxes have two sinks, but then they have like all this other stuff that makes it feel even more high-end. So I'm really excited that there's a tub. A lot of deluxes in Disney World don't have a tub. Oh, I didn't even notice this. How neat. Um, so that we can bathe our children. It's always a good idea, right? Um, and so here's here's my travel day fit. So these joggers are from Albion Fit. They are so comfortable. They're actually called the Jet Setter Jogger. I will link them below. So comfortable. My Hoka's, which I'm obsessed with. This top is from a brand called Crazy Yoga on um, Amazon. And the whole brand is basically all Lululemon dupes. 
love it. I'm going to get in a bunch more colors. It is so soft and so comfortable and breathable and just like so good. Um, and then let's see, I just have normal like little gold earrings in and this necklace set is from Amazon. Um, I think that's all I want to show you. Just like a few bracelets, but I'm always wearing a few bracelets. So I will link all of that below if you're interested. The carpet in here is so festive. I'm gonna get out of the bathroom because of the echo. So they do have robes, which is always so nice to have. And also, let's see that this is ours. There's a safe, that's our stroller bag down there, an extra pillow and blanket and some hangers as well as a little card if you want to get some dry cleaning or laundry done, plus an iron and an ironing board. This door here adjoins to the hotel room next to us. We are not traveling with anyone else, so this will just stay locked. But if you were a family and you wanted two rooms or you were traveling and you wanted that to be, you know, open, you could. So we did start kind of unpacking a little bit here. But oh my gosh, like what a sweet view this is. We turned on the fireworks first thing. There's fireworks that go over the whole headboard you can see with those little lights. I will show you them this evening when it's darker and you can really get a better feel for it. So these are both queen sized beds. Even the, um, can I get a good view? You can kind of see here. Even the white sheets have a really neat Mickey design. And this I just love of Walt Disney walking through the castle here in Disneyland. Love it so much. And then the uh, these bolsters are super cool. A dream is a wish your heart makes. And the other one says when you're fast asleep. So my kids were climbing all over these beds. Which is why, <laughs> which is why I was like, why don't y'all go pick up food so I can do a room tour? Um, the little nightstands here in the middle, and then again a moment for the headboard. It's so beautiful, and then look at this view that we have. I mean, it is such a great view. So we can see the whole pool area down here, and there's like a large hot tub, and then I don't know if that's just another pool over there. I'm not sure. I think it's just two separate pools. I know there's also a splash pad that might be more over that way um, that my kids will absolutely love. And then this is the restaurant. I saw my family walking across this bridge and this is the restaurant where we just got food. So I will head down there to eat my food shortly. I'm quite hungry after traveling all day. You know, I always love to show the curtains in Disney because everything is just so well themed. So these are just sort of striped in different colors that match the carpet. And then there is embroidered, these little embroidered like navigator looking stars, which looks really neat. And there is a two layer, which this is nice. This provides privacy, but you still get light. And then this is, this one is a blackout. Okay, so spinning around the room here, um, there's a yellow chair with a lamp over it. And then this, like this view, when you walk into a Disney resort and it says welcome and then it says your family name, it always just makes me so happy. And then there's this little dresser with drawers on this side. And then what I have since learned is I think called a beverage cooler. So the last time we came, I was like, oh, we have this refrigerator, and then people were commenting, I think that's actually just a beverage cooler, which doesn't get as cold. This looks more refrigerator-like to me, but it's not very cold, so I'm going to guess it's also a beverage cooler, but don't quote me on that. So that is, goes in there, and then up here, there's a small ice bucket with some glasses, and then, of course, the Keurig with all of the yummy, yummy Joffrey's, some tea, some cups and lids. And then this I thought was interesting. They don't have this in Disney World, at least not that I've seen. So I was interested in checking it out. So it is a condiment kit. And I actually already popped it open because I was curious. And it's just like a whole bunch of coffee fixins. I wouldn't, I don't know that I would call these condiments, but I guess anything's a condiment if you try hard enough. <laughs> so there's like some sweet and low and then just cane sugar and then um, let's see, original, international delight, two of those, and then some little stir sticks. So that's kind of neat. Maybe I just missed that before. I don't ever remember seeing one of these little kits because it caught my eye when I came in. And then the last thing, well, first of all, the lamp, so neat, love it. And then this um, desk, which I have already like started unpacking into. So 
there is in-room dining offered here, which is really nice. Um, I don't know that we'll utilize that because kids, but it looks like they actually have quite a few options, which is really neat. So I'm just gonna leave that up there. Of course, vlogger life, like immediately plugging in, charging all my batteries and whatnot. So let's see, so we got our, our card, key card for the room. And we got our first visit pins, Nora has hers on. And then this was the little envelope that we got the key cards in. So we are in the Fantasy Tower on the seventh floor and our room number is 2512, if that means anything to you. And then we got this cool little activity guide here and I was checking it out and like, it also tells all kinds of things that are going on here. And there's like yoga classes before the park opens. And I'm thinking that sounds like a load of fun. Like that would be so cool. So I don't know if I'll get to partake on this trip, but at some point I would love to. And then she also provided us with a guide map of Disneyland and then also of course of California Adventure. Um, also just a map of the hotel and the grounds of the hotel and kind of talking me through. So we got a really lucky because we are in the lobby. Wow we're in this tower which is where you come in which is the main lobby i didn't even really realize that there were so many other options this is my first time to disneyland so i am learning as i go very very neat and then i also got this which looks like maybe it's steamboat willie it's like a reproduction of a painting um to just say like welcome to the disneyland hotel which is pretty neat as well so i think that's everything um here in the hotel and then looking back this way. So I started the tour st standing against that door. But it is just beautiful. I think it, we are going to have such a nice time here and uh, just a gorgeous room to enjoy. And what a neat view. I'd love being able to look out and watch everybody down at the pool and just such a cool view. Love it, love it, love it. So I will check in with you guys here shortly once I've gotten this grocery delivery and then down when I can show you what we're eating and kind of the vibes down there by the uh, the quick service restaurant. So here's where we got some lunch from. Riley already picked it up and he's heading to a little spot he found for us to eat. Riley found this cool little grassy area so we can eat while the kids run around. It looks like it's for like weddings or events and it smells so good with these flowers. So we're going to open up our food and eat, let the kids run around. They've been so, so good all day and they're just so tired of being strapped into car seats and airplane seats. So we're gonna let them run around and then I think we're gonna probably go do some naps. The park is open till midnight tonight and let's see, it's four o'clock now. So I think we're gonna try to do some naps for like an hour, an hour and a half. Colin, diving into that cheeseburger and then we'll head into the park. How you feeling? Good. After I eat, I'm gonna feel really great. Yeah, we're all pretty hungry. And they're gonna eat, look at Colin, he immediately started eating this. I know. Burger. It came with some pineapple slices and shit. And oh, that was the kids' meal in there? Yeah. Oh, cute. He's okay. It. And then this is what I got, which was chicken thigh with like rice, Ooh, coleslaw, good. and macaroni salad. Yeah. Sounds really good. Ooh, what did you get? I got the poke bowl with ahi. Ooh. That looks like the, the right thing to get right there. Yeah, you're going to love that. We just finished lunch and we both loved our meals. Riley said that poke bowl was the best thing he's eaten in a long time. Do you see this cute teacup little booth seating situation? How cool. This hotel is stunning. These two are exhausted. We're gonna head, <laughs> look at them zoning. We're gonna head up to the hotel room and let them take a little nap. We just came inside to get some lemon water because they have it over there. Really good travel day for us. We took a nice rest in our hotel room for about 90 minutes or so. And now we are heading into Disneyland. So it appears that this is Disney California Adventure. So Disneyland must be across here, okay. Um, we just walked through part of downtown Disney to um, obviously come into the park. And it's so cool to have all that right at, in walking distance at your fingertips and then be able to walk to the park. 
I already am very much loving the condensed nature of this compared to Walt Disney World, which is obviously like so, so spread apart. It takes like an hour to get anywhere. Riley, what do you think? I'm really excited to see all this again, and I want to ride a lot of rides if we can tonight. This lighting is making your skin just glow. I mean, I take care of my skin. <laughs> but you know what's sad? Haunted Mansion is closed. Yeah, it such, sucks so bad. I, know. I never would have guessed that would ever happen. I know. Just for refurbishment, we can come back. We're here! Oh my gosh! It's really a weird feeling because it's set up so similarly to Disney World. Doesn't it feel kind of weird? It like looks like Disney World, but it feels different. So tiny. Everything's like a little miniature version. I love it. So far we've had like amazing an amazing experience like customer service wise. Our hotel really blew me away. The airport here was so easy because we walked right off to our luggage and an MCO, you get off. It's you a whole thing. Hike across the entire place to find your luggage. Yeah. And you get your luggage and you have to like get in the takes. Oh my gosh, here we go. First look. Look how cute it is. I love it. I burst out laughing when I saw this cute, precious, tiny little castle. It is so much smaller. I had a lot of people tell me, just be prepared, the castle's really small. It really is. Everything's so sweet and charming and cute here. We're gonna walk through the castle for the first time here. It's so precious. It is so much smaller. I, I don't think I realized it would be so much smaller, but I love it just as much. We are getting ready to ride Snow White's Enchanted Wish, which is a new ride to us. The line is only 15 minutes, so we decided to hop on in and ride it while we got into the park. Are you excited? super cute and fun and now we're about to do the carousel which is our kids favorite favorite you want me to go on it? Nora about nine o'clock now we are all getting hungry so we came into Pizza Planet and we just got a slice of pepperoni and cheese to share and we'll probably end up finding something else to eat as well but we thought this would get us started and it's really cute in here and people say this pizza is actually really good so after we got some pizza at Pizza Planet we decided to make our way out of the park so we are now we've exited and we're walking into downtown Disney to get back to our hotel, which is of course the Disneyland Hotel. 
and um, it's just getting chilly. We've been up and moving and traveling all day and the kids are starting to just really kind of show signs that they're ready to go to bed. So <laughs> we're gonna make the way back to the hotel and maybe walk around the hotel gift shop for a minute and then baths and bedtime for the little ones because it's been a long day but a good one. It's, it's colder than I thought it would be. It's actually quite chilly right now. You see people walking around with blankets and stuff because the temperature has definitely dropped. I love it how easy it is to, to get from place to place. I love that. It's great. It's cold though. Yeah, it's cold. Yes, thank you. We were watching this magical map and Riley's just kind of getting a lay of the land, although it is relatively similar to Disney World. It's not the exact same, so we're just trying to kind of figure it all out, where we are and where we were and everything else. Also, it smells incredible in here. It smells like a lot like the beach club, if you ask me. Yeah, that's Anna. I have never seen these Moana ears, they're really fun. We are just in the uh, gift shop here. Just taking a look at everything they have. You like those? Those are amazing. Come on, y'all like your Pepsi. Some of this merchandise I saw in Disney World in December, but a lot of it is new to me that I have never seen before. The, these cute like pillows, Nora would love that for her room. And this little rain jacket pullover. I definitely would remember. Oh, and she would love this as well. So cute. Oh, you know what she would absolutely love? She's obsessed with flip-flops. Those are extremely precious. Oh, and they have different princesses on each one. It's actually a pretty big gift shop for a hotel. <laughs> Looks have declined. I'm like trying to primp, but there's no there's no hope for me. This is how it looks on a travel day and all this. Um, we've had a really good day. It has been so wonderful coming and checking into this hotel and just being in California and being in Disneyland and it's just been a really fun experience already. I will say that I was extremely impressed and my expectations were blown out of the water specifically with this hotel. Based on the photographs I had seen online, I feel like they need a new photographer or something. It just doesn't capture, the photos that I had seen, I don't feel capture how incredible this hotel is. It is so gorgeous, so beautiful. The grounds outside with the pools and the bridges and like, it's just lovely. It's so lovely and you just, I did, I was, I mean, maybe that's the, the idea <laughs> because I was extremely impressed and very, very pleasantly surprised and my expectations were far exceeded. I knew it would be a nice hotel, but it's wonderful. Like, I really love it. And this headboard situation is so sweet and so cute. Um, and when you turn it on, it sounds like a cute little, a little jingle. Um, is it a dream is a wish your heart makes? It must be because that's what the pillows say. So, um, Riley is giving the kids a bath right now. Let me show you what I got from my Amazon Fresh Delivery. Um, we have done that. <laughs> okay, I'm stepping in the bathroom because it's quiet in here and my kids are getting their PJs on. We just brushed their teeth. We just finished bathing them. I brushed my daughter's hair. We are, we are on the cusp of bedtime and we need to be because they are super, super tired. They've been troopers all day long. So what I was trying to say earlier is that I have used Amazon Fresh to deliver groceries before at Walt Disney World and I did the same service today and it's just been like impeccable, very smooth, very easy. 
and I had a case of water delivered here today and then some snacks sunscreen and like some uh, wet wipes like hand wipes so I'll show you what I got all out there and I think that's the last thing I wanted to share with you today we are it's really funny to be in a Disney environment where we are unfamiliar with the territory and we're like unfamiliar of the layout and we got lost a few times today like got into dead ends in the park and whatnot but it's really fun to be see everything for the first time it's just been it's been really fun so i invite you to subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed and turn on the bell for notifications so that you don't miss any content because i have lots more vlogs from this trip going up plus i'm definitely going to do some kind of video comparing and contrasting our vacation experiences at walt disney world versus disneyland just because I have had so many people ask me to do content like that because they've considered a Disneyland trip and they just don't know a lot about the parks here and the resort and like how it all goes together. So I would love to share just the little bit that I have learned and that we have learned on this trip. Um, let me just show you quickly the things that I've got from Amazon Fresh and then I'm going to sign off for the night. Take a hot shower, get some sleep, and uh, we have a big day ahead of us in the morning, so definitely check back for our day two vlog. So first of all, if you're staying at a Disney resort, these bedtime stories have saved the day time and time again with our kids. So on like the Disney menu, you click on Disney On Demand, and then up at the top, there's a tab that's called Bedtime Stories, and they have Rapunzel, they have a Cars one, we watched the Frozen one earlier, and they're very low key, and it's like someone like reading a story basically. And uh, anyway, our kids love them. Look how cute. Um, okay, so we got a case of smart water and then we just got some bars for our kids for a snack Some Mickey Mouse goldfish for a snack We got some sunscreen because I forgot to pack it and then just two packs of these wet ones wipes Which we love for wiping down Strollers technology that we've been touching like our phones throughout the day Hands of course are the obvious one um, We use them all the time and I got two that's right Colin so that is everything that we picked up from our Amazon Fresh delivery. The lighting is truly going from bad to worse. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. Thanks so much for coming along with us on our travel day and our first day in Disneyland, checking into the Disneyland Hotel and just spending a few hours in the park. We didn't get very much time in the park at all because we did choose to rest with our kids for an hour or two before we headed in, but I think that was the right choice because tired kids can't last at all and our kids lasted really well until it's like 10 o'clock right now and they've been doing great. I'm just gonna lock up our hotel door. Like I say, get myself ready for bed and uh, get some good sleep. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for being here.